Do you want to see upgrades? Do you want to see the best performance on these high-end emulators? Then I suggest you hop in this whip with me and take a ride with your guy. What's up guys, it's your boy, Let's Press Play here. And today, today, I got three new updates for you. I got RPCS3, I got Yuzu, and I got an update that we usually don't touch on, and that's Semu Emulator. Whoa. Now, Semu Emulator by far is definitely one of my favorite emulators because it is just built for tough. And these guys work on this emulator day in and day out just to drop us a build every two weeks. Um, they're currently working on Vulcan support. They recently just dropped a build, 15.11 I think, with Vulcan support, but it's a bit buggy, so we're not gonna test that one. We're gonna test the next one that's gonna be coming out in the next week or so. Yuzu, huge stepping stone for Yuzu. Yuzu got a lot of games running this week. In this upcoming week in the Patreons build, they got a lot of those games running at a solid 30 to 60 frames per second. Whoa. Now, I'm gonna touch on a few of those games and just show you what the frame rate is currently versus when the next 10 days, I think, is when the Patreon build becomes the regular build compared to its previous version. Also, RPCS3, these guys made some great graphical upgrades. They fixed the rainbow textures in Gran Turismo to fix graphical glitches to like Red Dead and Uncharted. It just, it looks amazing amazing and it's getting it's getting stable by the day but i know you guys aren't here to hear me talk you guys want to see these games so let's just get right into it
There you have it, all the upgrades from RPCS3 and Yuzu. Like I said before, we're not gonna do Semu because the new Vulcan Semu still is a little buggy. But if you guys want me to test that out in the next video, please hit me with the comment. And if you like this video, please hit it with a like and subscribe and you know hit that bell for notifications. Thanks guys, and I'll see you later.